All right, I wanted to bring this one to you guys. Chris Turner from Chris Turner. Turner. Tana. He's from the UK, so should be Tana. I don't know, but since we're talking about drumming freaks, aka El Estepario Siberiano, this guy is a freaking monster on the drums. If you have never seen him, this is one of the most popular recent videos of his. Yeah, he does this. I don't think this is even the craziest song I've seen him playing, but... What's impressive about this guy is the double bass drum work. Impressive. Speed and accuracy, and also timing. So tight, man, so precise. Unbelievable, a human metronome. And he's, he plays very complicated shit. He's not playing it simple. consistency of the double bass every note both feet man <laughs> the level of confidence the level of skills this guy has is it's just insane i think this guy has really redefined the limits for metal drummers He's become popular before El Estepario Siberiano, but he's on a different, he's taking a different path compared to him. El Estepario said publicly he wanted to impress people and play the impossible, so he has, he really practiced to achieve that. But this guy has, he plays with Oceans Eat Alaska, which is a very popular band in the metal, modern metal scene. And he's just a, uh, been playing the music with this band and I believe this is also part of his own solo project he has these incredible bursts these accelerations of the double bass sounds incredible both feet sound equal the notes are very Crystal clear, same volume, same velocity, both kicks. Incredible. And then his accuracy is just sniper accurate. Another thing I like is not bashing the cymbals. You might expect it from drummers in this genre. Yes, he's hitting hard, but it's not like bashing them exaggerating like many drummers do like they lose control they get too excited and start bashing the cymbals too much and uh, uh, he's really aware of his of what he's doing of how he's moving his body around the drum set in a recording situation wow what a freaking <laughs> monster in the description we you'll find a link to my brand new 30 day kick drumming course it's yeah, he's got a great course, I believe, course. with uh, DB Online. I believe it's uh, the channel, you know, the uh, Dave, Gable Algera, Dave Alge Dave, uh, the, the drummer of I Prevail, another great drummer. He's got a great channel on YouTube. He's very famous. If you watch my videos, I bet you know him. There's no way you watch my stuff and you don't know him. Let's check out another video of his. There was one that I really, really liked. It was this one. This one was cool, but there was another one from Sabian, I think, this one. This is... Man, this is crazy. The shit he plays on this video. <laughs> that blast beat was flawless. Look at his calves. The guy works out. And then you have his faces. Man, your faces are unbelievable. <laughs> there was a comment on this video. <laughs> one of the comments on this video was... There's one of my comments too, but there was one that was... Look like... It was like... The way he looks at his floor, Tom. <laughs>
Okay, here he's bashing the cymbals a little more. That sequence of notes. This one. Very technical piece. I don't know if this is an instrumental version, there's actually vocals. Love the passage. So I don't know if there's actually vocals on this uh, track, the original one from, I believe this is from, it says straight up DW drums, it doesn't say if this is a song from his band. Look at the bass drum, how it moves. He's really hammering that bass drum, man. <laughs> so much power, look at that. And he doesn't use triggers, definitely doesn't. This is what was really attractive to me uh, at the beginning when I saw him. It was like, wow, he really plays that fast, that loud very accurate and it doesn't use triggers impressive this guy has redefined the, the boundaries from metal drumming to me really so fast and accurate of course he plays very technical music very very intense it's, it's mostly it's mostly like a workout probably but uh, Definitely not my my kind, not my cup of tea, I should say, but uh, very inspiring. I've been really, really inspired by his playing. And uh, another thing I've noticed, he doesn't fill up the bass drum. Usually, you know, metal drummers that play that fast fill up the bass drum with blankets and stuff to make it more rigid and crank the, the, the batter head to make it more rigid and more bouncy so that it becomes easier to play. It doesn't seem to do that. To what I've seen, the bass drum is empty. I mean, he's got the standard DW pillow that comes stock when you buy... Uh, the drum set, a DW Collector Series drum set. So that makes it even more impressive. No triggers, normal pedal, and uh, no funny tricks, you know, or, you know, anything strange going on with the bass drum tuning or muffling to, to make it more bouncy in sound and, and easier to play. So absolutely impressive. After watching him for the first time and after studying his some of his videos years ago, I started approaching playing double bass in a different way. And I think I uh, got benefits from, from trying and, uh, and, uh, and copying his approach. Obviously, I'm not a double bass drum player primarily, so I'm not trying to get as good as him, uh, not that I have a chance, but, <laughs> but I don't even try because that's not my main area of interest. But it is really inspiring to see how tight and precise and accurate he is with every note he plays. That is inspiring to me. That's really something that I'm interested in, in achieving myself. And I've been working on that in that towards that direction ever since uh, watching his first, uh, the first video I watched of him. I think it deserves the same attention as El Estepario, probably. El Estepario is really entertaining, but this guy is such a freaking, freaking monster on the drums. I hope. If you didn't know Chris Turner, now you do. And let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts? What uh, what do you think about his uh, his drumming style? Do you watch him? Do you think he's human? Is, is uh, Craig Reynolds, I think, made a, made a video about him. This, he had a nice, um, a very cool series, uh, Natty or Not, named after, you know, Jim Bros. <laughs> Natty or Not. I saw his video about Chris and he was so surprised to say, man, this guy is natural. What do they mean, Natty or Not? You know, in the gym world, a Natty guy Guy is the one who never took steroids so in this case it applies to drummers because a lot of drummers on YouTube quantize their performance and that is like taking steroids for some people in the gym it's cheating I would not necessarily say it is cheating to take steroids in real life for you know to gain more muscles it is your choice but I do believe that quantizing is cheating in the music world especially on your YouTube when you film yourself and post a video of a drum performance that you quantized that is cheating man change my mind <laughs>
keep it calm in the in the in the comments, please, guys. Do not go crazy. It's just uh, it's just a video on YouTube. We're just talking, okay? We're just uh, having a nice conversation. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Now you're not quantization. Do you quantize? Do you think it's cheating? It is cheating, 100%. <laughs> but I want to know your thoughts. And I want to know your thoughts about Chris. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of uh, Ocean Eat Alaska? Ocean Eats Alaska. Ocean He's banned. Please like and subscribe because I have terrible stats. 99% of you people are watching my videos. And you're not subscribed and you don't subscribe. So please, I have terrible stats. Help me reverse that. I promise I will pay you back with great content. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.